Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So on my Dell G15 5520 model number, I was trying to install Windows 11 using USB flash drive. Uh, I used media creation tool to make a bootable flash drive and I was trying to perform a clean installation. And uh, I received this error uh, on Windows installation screen that uh, the selected disk has an MBR partition table. I went through a lot of YouTube videos uh, uh, showing the method using the disk part and all that. That did not work. And on this screen where you can see the drive, actually you should be able to see your drive, uh, your primary hard drive like your uh, your SSD or HDD, you should be able to see. I was only able to see my flash drive. The hard drive was not shown. So if, if this is what is happening, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So to fix it, uh, you have to actually go to the system BIOS. So first of all, shut down your computer. Shut down your computer. And let me inform you, during clean installation of Windows, you will lose all the data and application on your computer. You already know it because you are already trying to install a clean, perform a clean installation. First of all, shut down your computer, start your computer and tap F2 to go to the system BIOS. Now on the BIOS screen, you can go to storage option over here. So go to storage, select storage. And then once you select it on the right hand side, uh, by default, RAID ON would be selected over here. In my case, it's RAID ON. You have to select this AHCI NVMe. And then you have to click on yes. And then you have to at the bottom, you have to hit apply changes. Click on apply changes and then you have to click on OK. Now, in future, like after making these changes, if you face any problem, you can uh, you can load the defaults um, because making changes in BIOS may result in no boot issue. But right now we are installing Windows 11 and the disk, your hard drive was not getting detected. So you can make these changes. If you face any problem, you can always come back to BIOS and then you can click on load defaults and you can go to factory defaults. If you face any problem, you can select factory defaults and then click on OK. It will go to factory defaults state. Now, but right now to fix the problem, you have to select this AHCI NVMe, click on yes, and then you have to hit apply changes and then you have to click on exit. Now, once you made all the changes, uh, start PC and then tap F12 and select, you will be able to see your flash drive. Now select your flash drive, which has the windows, and then you should be able to see all your drives on the installation screen. This time it will be visible. Now you can delete all the partition if you want. That is totally your choice. As I told you, you will lose all the data on the computer. You can, you can select each drive one by one, and then you can, at the top, you will see delete option. So hit delete. I, I actually did not capture the screenshot of that video. I don't have it, but I'm telling you, you have to, you will be able to see all your drives. You have to select each uh, like partition and you have to click on delete. And only one you will not be able to delete is unallocated space. You will see a drive which will show your complete uh, hard drive space like one terabyte or 500 gigabyte. You will be able to see your uh, uh, drive which will say unallocated space. You can select that one and then you can install it and you should be able to install it. I was able to install it, so you should be able to do so. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.